So this guy we're looking at right now finally got arrested for being the worst prankster on the internet. Because this broken boy who for whatever reason has tens of thousands of fans on TikTok and YouTube shamelessly invaded private houses without permission. He also stole a poor woman's dog just to get views on a video. Imagine how scared she must have been to see someone run away with her dog. <laughs> he has also disrespected workers by doing stupid, idiotic things inside many stores. We're outside. And I really want you to share this video because this prankster just got out of prison and he is showing zero remorse. I wouldn't really call it terrorizing, I would just call it more having fun. You don't show any real remorse. The UK laws are weak, simple as, and that's not mm. my fault. So as I show you more of his stupid pranks, I want you to answer. Do you think pranksters like him should be in prison or is this just a form of entertainment? Let's go back to that dog video, for example. You got a nice dog. You got a nice dog. She's lovely, she's This old woman was just minding her own business until... Bing gang, whole lot of gang. <laughs> You're tired! <laughs> You're tired! <laughs> Look at that face. He's smiling while doing something horrible to an old lady. We all got this fucking dog! We are sad every single time! We outside is his branding. Because this broken boy doesn't only steal your pet for views. As I told you before, he will also invade your privacy. Just watch this with me and imagine you were living inside this house he's walking into. James? Yeah. Come to the front door right now, please. James? James? You man, come. Hello, James. We need to speak to James. James. Hi. Hi. Um, yeah, James. Is this no, where the study back. group is? Study no. group. No. And as if that wasn't rude enough, but well, this is not where the study yeah, group. We got right? kids, man. We're oh, you got kids. Oh, yeah, sorry. Oh, I thought this was the study group, but I actually thought. Seriously, where is this guy getting the idea that what he's doing is funny? That would have been a literal death sentence in America. What the heck were they thinking? People are getting hurt over something that didn't happen to them. I just do it for fun. On or off camera, I do my thing. But no, he just laughs it off and does it again and again for more views. Killing to run in houses, let's get it. <laughs> He gets genuinely excited when he scares and confuses people. Back in the day, he would be seen as a sociopath, but today, he's a prankster. Hello, we outside in the district. Sorry? We're in the district. From disrespecting workers. Did you have a changing room? No. Oh, can I change in the corner then? We're gonna change in the corner, yeah? Cool. We're outside. Disrespecting religion. It was a trend, it was a trend. I just done it for a trend. Look quite bad. The fool, the fool is bad. I can't lie. I was laughing in it, yeah. So can I hug you come? Just what no 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 no. Just like a respectful hug. And risking the safety of passengers inside their own cars. Is this my Uber prank? Excuse me, what are you doing? Sorry. It's my Uber. Um Six, six, six. No, 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 no. I'm in the wrong car, no. like. This is my Uber. And another one. Going into random cars, asking if it's my Uber, huh? Back. Who is that? Uber. Um, six, six, six. Again. Let me ask you, do you think pranksters like him should be in prison? Because so far, it seems like the worst that can be done to most of these broken boys is banning them on social media platforms. Except, as we've seen over and over, these stupid prank videos can easily just be uploaded on new channels. In his words, he'll just be outside again. It's very obvious, he represents everything that is wrong with the internet today attention-hungry creators who will do anything to get views and then impact the youngsters with something highly negative. Hello, subscribe to Lizzie on YouTube. 
be outside all my videos share them and the craziest thing is that he's creating a movement the movement is real just listen to his final words after finally getting arrested what happens happens the movement is real we outside every single day make sure to share this everywhere 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 free to die free to die everywhere free movement for what for being a bully why why watch this when you can watch us Whoa! Whoa! She's just like off. For acting like a broken boy when you are 18 years old. The real no, 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 I'm talking, I'm talking, I'm talking, I'm talking, I'm talking, I'm talking. Yeah, it's fine. I'm talking, I'm talking. Carry on. I've been calling this man a broken boy for a reason. Because obviously, people like him come from broken homes. What he's doing here is most likely a trauma response to what he's been through. The struggles he went through as a boy. And it manifests itself in the stupidest ways. Well, I don't chat to my mom anymore. I know it because I've been there too. Hurt people hurt people but this is exactly why i hope you help me share this video to send a message to all the broken people out there you're not allowed to hurt others just because no, you you're hurt to. yourself that's why you gave me a heart attack I'm sorry, it's I'm sorry, my, I'm sorry, my grandson sorry. bakari that is his name if you're watching this i am genuinely sad that you know the impact the internet can have on people's lives You've seen it in the numbers, you've seen it in the response, and yet you choose to use that impact for something negative. I mean, people like you are creating movements, but it's all just about hurting others. Like this guy who's just pranking a homeless person. Hey, excuse me, sir. Hey, I was wondering, are you hungry by any chance, man? All right, man, I got you. One bacon eater combo, please. I want you to enjoy this. This is really good. All right, take care. Have a nice day. While another movement guy thought it would be funny to do this to an innocent grandma. Pick a number between one and ten. Let's say seven. Seven? Well, it's your lucky day. You just want brand new AirPod Pros. Wow, you're kidding me. Really? Yeah. <laughs> like, if he does this to my grandma, I'm gonna smack him in the head. To all of you doing this stupid stuff, this is not a good movement. No, no, I'll what get, did you end up? I got, I got my check. We're not allowed to do this. Okay, okay, okay. And so, as you see these for the last time, I want to ask you, do you still think this is just entertainment? Literally, hate brings money, hate brings likes, hate brings views. It doesn't matter. Love or hate, it still brings views. Or should all these criminal pranksters finally get pranked in prison? What happens, happens. The movement is real. We outside 